painting. Now the law is that every house must be regularly painted. If you have, a, in developed countries, by the way, this is not a laughing matter. For those who have traveled, for those who have traveled, you go to the U.S. For example, the houses are painted. You must have a house that looks neat. Why do you want to have a dirt house? You must have a house that looks neat. Anyway, the law now says you must have a painted house. If you are not having a painted house, the authorities will come to you and give you a notice. They will start by giving you notice. You should paint your house within X period of time. If you don't, they will come and arrest you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is the law now. <laughs> Eteka katirigamba, tibobela ne nyomba yo, teja kulabi kabubi, uino jisiga la anji. La anji bwewe wedeko, odemo jisige. Boto jisige, abantu ba government ba jakuja, basoke bakulabule. Wakugaya nituwe wae, nyomba yetu use, ukusiga la anji. Boto jisiga, mubanga bweriti, musango. Monsi andala zona, ezikula akula nye, Basi gala anji ama yumba. Ne kala, monsie zendala, government yesala o kala chi, joli no kusi gala anji yo. Bo gende mombasa, I am telling you, gende mombasa kati, mombasa, ebi zimbe bionne mombasa, bia sigibwa la anji ya buru. Yes, that is the, what is happening in mombasa. E chita geza, government, ok, e chirina mu, o kwa gala okumanya, Echizimbe chosulamu, chifuana na chiti ya ewelu. Teka lino liga amantu bobo li ne nyumba. Uino jisigaranji. Bobo tolina, ilu bobo tolina. Tukusaba, ila tukusabi lofu ne nyumba. So. If there is a law that says everybody in this room must wear shoes. <laughs> yeah? If there is a law that says everybody in this room must wear shoes. It cannot apply to those that don't have feet. That law cannot apply to you if you don't have feet. So, if you don't have a house, we are not going to say build a house so that you can paint it. We are going to look at the house that is there today and you should improve on that house. That's what we are saying. Secondly, same, Katanga. Now we have a program to deal with slums. Slums, as I said, are already there. But as I also said, slums have various parties that own or stakeholders. The stakeholders are the landowner, who is always different from the people who own those buildings, who are also different from the people who stay in those buildings, the tenants. And then you have the fourth stakeholder, who is the government, both local and central. All these will are being harmonized so that we can what they call retrofit, redevelop those slums. It is a slow process. It is a delicate process because you are dealing with people who are already there. But again, we have to engage them and we are going to continue the effort of engaging them. A man is what he thinks. Somewhere I think in the Bible, someplace. You are what you think. If you think that it's impractical, it is going to be impractical. But I have seen it work in other countries, and it can work in this country. And by the way, it will work in this country. Is it for the urban only? No. Fiscal planning is for, every, for the entire country. So we shall deal with the urban areas and all growth centers, wherever they are. All growth centers. Kenneth, you said there are people who are built on Lake Victoria. I have seen the article. We are going, I'm going to investigate. I have not. Uh, I'm going to investigate. What we have done now, we are even introducing drones <laughs> into our physical planning. Just a minute. We are introducing drones, drone technology, into our physical planning process, which means we can set the coordinates of an area, overfly it with the drone, bring the information to our desktop and deal with it without having to hire boats and 
and kulaba ani azimba ekiro bantu bamanyo kuzimba ekiro ku rock 5 ne bazimba olwo mukaga ne bazimba olwe sande nga bakozi ba government bagenze ku weekend ku lwe baraza ku machanga bayingite abo obunyonyi buno obunyonyo bwo mubanga bwetu funye kati kubatu bufunye bugenda kubanga bulopa buli kisera chiki cha chemukola obo zimba kiro era kajja kula obo zimba mu mabira forest wakati eyo je tusobola kutuka era tujja kula obunyonyo obwo omzungu bwaita drones to good day unit number nga ya ku kulopa kuketa na kulopa abo abakola ebimenya amateka aga physical plan buja kuba buita waguru emisana ne kiro wadengo ja kuba to bulaba and we are going for election time these people who put posters all over and they live for the next 5 years it's not going to be allowed you put posters there must be regulation of how those posters will be put up and when they will be removed otherwise you will be arrested the person whose face is on the posters. <laughs> yes. And there will be a fine for violating. It is also an offense if you do not slash the green patch at your premises. If, yes, you, you are not going to be allowed to have an unkempt compound. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a green patch in your compound, you must slash it. But I can also give a living example. There is a place that I know where between two houses, beautiful houses, there is an undeveloped plot. And that undeveloped plot has grass so grown that the person who goes to either of the houses has to go through this grass. Why would anybody allow that to happen? In Kampala. This is in Kampala. So anyway, it is an offense if you have a green, or you have uh, grass in your compound, and you allow it to grow to a level that is even higher than the house. It's not allowed. Now you will be arrested. Because it's an offense. You will be served the notice. Please slash your compound within this period, but the inspector will again come to follow up on the notice, and he finds that you haven't slashed your compound or manicured your garden, ah, the police will deal with you. Front of premises, business or otherwise, the owner must provide pavers and maintain cleanness. You see, you have money to build a house. You have money and you build a house. Inside the house, you have beautiful marble and... Uh, and uh, tiles and so on. Why don't you, in front of that house, put pavers? Now the law says you must put. It's not negotiable. That's the law. If not, again, a notice will be give, served on your premises. You need to put tiles, uh, sorry, pavers within this period of time. If you don't, you will be arrested. Buja kubera msango singa to, to sawa mudo. Oh my God. Buja kubera msango singa to sawa mudo mochi. Mokompound. Mokompound yo. Guli msango singa to wandika linya di alugudo kuoli na plot number kapanda ako kateka kunyumba yo. Local government ya jia kugamba, nti eno, ye plot number, eno, ye kubo, ye, uh, the road, ye lugudo nyumba yo kuoli, akapande, ako, olina okubera nako kunyumba yo. Ebi nitu wabisi enyumbo kujizi imba, owomluka, ajia kubera o, ngopime nyumba yo lusoka, oleme kuteka nyumba, Ate mungeri nsobu. Ere teka ligamba. Ntika tu physical plan ngeja kubela ya laini. 
ziri straight. Bwe muwa mzimba ama yumba, mwja gazimba mu straight line. Ngemu, mkulina na jina wayo, ne mkulina na jina wayo, line yeri emu. Yeri eteka. <laughs> eteka li gamba, ntusoja kumalaga zimba nyumba joe ya gala. Buno buduka wala, obu yumba, obu mu, design ezimu eze nyumba, tuzisazizamu, tetuza gala. Oja genda ku pa, uh, sub county ku gombolola ojeyo mu maplan ya gali eyo olonde mu emu jojja okuzimba mu kitundu echo chebana aba bakukirizamu okuzimba omuntu yenna wadembe ngatasose kulaga anti echikolwa kyo muntu anyoma oba sobeza ku physical planning chimukosa omuntu muna Uganda yenna wadembe okuwa wabira omuntu yenna gwalaba nga kyakola si kitufu ekyo kulabira ko lwalero maulire bogedde ku mayumba agali mu munyanja omuntu yenna na watudde wano oli wadembe kati oku 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 to prostitute to okola ki Okuwa wabira, oli wadembo kuwa wabira oyo, teweta kakulaga anti mulina anuwa wange, obazi mbiye mkubo, wengiri we, we, we liyato liyange, nenda. Kastrova angoli muna Uganda, oli wadembo kuwa wabira, omuntu yenna gola banti chako ze kichamu. Ku physical planning, nga wazi mbiye, siwe ya lizi mbiye. Eri edembe kati, eteka lirikuwa ndi. Omuntu yenna Oluwa kubanga, chitu kakata kofu wabana Uganda, obaba antu wabali mi Uganda, oku, okulaba antu embera jetuvera munu nji. Kasasi rabada yitiride, kati local government, government kasasi reyo weri, alino muja wo, buata muja wo, kasasi reye tumi, buata muja wo, katieteka li gamba, mtitujia basa la sente. Oba, Tujia basa la sente, abana baba kuzobu vi, abana baba kuzobu lunji, tujia bonge na koku sente, abana loko government yeyo. Eranga buli, enaku, buli sati yesi oktober, ngeda kuzo mweza asatu, mweza ugwe kumi, minister, kwa atagana nevi ya physical planning, ajia kuwa buli local government certificate, eraganti dala baku umie, omutindo, Ogwe vivu gari abu. Ababana ababa iso bulu unji. Bajia kuwe waka sente. Abata koze bulu unji. Bajia kusali waka sente. Neba officers babu. Baba. Be, baba ere reprimandi. Ba, what is it to reprimand? Ba officers babu. Ba kolebu weko nga mateka bu gala gira. Thank you. Buza. Hey, oh, believe me, what was But I incorporated them in my answers, you man. Muluganda <coughs> Nabio. The measures I'm describing now are measures that are buttressed by a law that came into effect in January this year. So, we have opened a new leaf in physical planning, implementation, and enforcement. <laughs>